morning. It's Easter Sunday 2020 and um, it's still a good day. Oh wow, that was beautiful. I gotta see if I can switch this around for you guys. A few ducks just um, landed on the river here. I don't know if you see them. They were making a lot of noise just now. So I went biking this morning. Um, I'm biking and I took a break um, along the river just to, I feel like I want to share a little word with you guys. Um, uh, last night I was um, having a discussion with a group. Um, you know, we were talking about the impact of the coronavirus and um, how everyone had to be um, sheltering in place with their families. And, um, you know, some of the guys were... Um, you know, pretty frustrated, um, and, um, you know, that was understandable to be frustrated. It's human to respond to, um, situations that are new and, um, that can sometimes be distressing. Um, but one of the things that came out as we discussed, um, everything was that, God is enough, and um, especially when, you know, people are wondering, what are you going to do with your family now that everyone has to be, um, you know, working in the same space if you're able to work from home or going to school in the same space, um, what are you supposed to do, how are you supposed to navigate um, any sort of tensions that may arise and uh, you know uh, we were reminded in our discussion last night that especially us as men um, who are believers we are called to be high priest um, by um, by God and we have been we have been empowered to be the high priest of our home and that requires, um, you know, a commitment to lead, uh, not just physically, but um, spiritually. And, um, you know, I just want to remind uh, men who are believers and those of you who, um, you know, may not be like 100% committed, just to, you know, just to try to lead your families. Um, you know, try to be that calming force that is gonna, you know, set the tone for how you relate to your spouses. I know we're all gonna have moments when, you know, our human emotions get the better of us. Um, but, you know, God is enough and God is able to uh, continue to keep us even through the toughest of times. Um, and I know sometimes when we are going through these tough times, we, um, it's not always convenient to respond calmly. Um, but let's, let's all try to um, remember what Christ died for today and um, just be um, a force for good, a force that is salt and light to the rest of the world. Hope you have a great day.